So we produce the new particular surface based on the soft tissue situation of morning. So the original particular su surface does the matter. They allow the change of original particular surface. <clears throat> the priority is the gap balancing, gap balance. So in other words, so create a new article surface to fit the current soft tissue situation. On the other hand, cinematic alignment is to reproduce the patient native article surface. So gap imbalance does the matter. The priority, the priority is article surface to produce a particular surface. So they believe that if we reproduce or uh, restore the patient native articular surface, the gap balancing can be natural. Even if the gap is imbalanced, uh, as a matter of they regard this uh, as asymmetric, asymmetric as the natural situation. In fact, the most patient, especially in flexion, lateral loose is natural. But in functional alignment, so they control using the computer device, the good gap balance. Of course, some surgeon aim, aim for the perfect gap balancing, that means the equal median and the lateral gap and extension of the gap. But some other surgeons allow the lateral, some kind of lateral looseness. So it depends on the philosophy of concept or strategy of uh, the uh, gap balance making. Mm. Oh, so, but using this functional line, they can modify the gap, uh, uh, manipulating the bone cutting surface. So as a result, bone cutting sur surface, uh, no, 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 the component surface is not always same as the previous one, previous disease one. That's why the functional alignment is basically for PS component. And because the PS policy concept is destroy all and reconstruct. A new, <clears throat> new morphology and kinematics. Uh, but kinematic alignment is only reproduce the predicates. The predicates are surface. That is the difference. So this is another type of functional alignment. Or oh, this is named inverse kinematic alignment, but in fact, uh, this is inverse functional alignment. So tibia based functional alignment. So what's the difference between the functional and inverse? The functional is manipulate femur and the tibia side at once, at once, before bone cutting. But in both kinematic alignment, the cut the tibia first. Because the tibia is, uh, should be cut uh, under restriction in most cases. And basically, this technique is the manipulation is within the plus minus three degrees. And uh, at least the computer, the robotics can control within only within one plus minus five degrees. Okay. Or uh, if I want to cut the tibia, for example, six degrees or seven degrees, it's impossible. The setting should be up to five degrees. Yes. 
So as a result, so especially tibia cut it can be limited. So, so it is very uh, reasonable to cut the tibia part under the restriction. And then decide the distal and the posterior surface of femur based on the gap. Oh, this is a kind of true kinematic uh, gap balancing technique. The true gap balancing is cut the tibia first, perpendicular to the tibia axis, then inflection, cut the distal femur, and then the posterior condyle to make the parallel gap, then extend the knee to, yes, the cut. Uh, the distal femur parallel to the tibia cutting surface. But this technique is a uh, disadvantage uh, because uh, in, most, in most cases, the media side is contracted. So as a result, the total alignment can be better. Yes. So uh, now, so most surgeons uh, use the modified technique, modified gap balancing technique. At the cut of perpendicular to the tibia and the femur mechanical axis. As a result, the gap can be trapezoid, not parallel. Mostly in the media side is uh, very narrow, and the lateral side is wide. To be parallel, the bone cut surfaces, the release, the medium, corrupted ligament, or, or other media structures. Then press the knee and the cut the, the posterior corner parallel to the tibia cut. So that is a gap balancing technique. All bone cuts are decided uh, based on to make the parallel and equal gap. That is a goal for the gap balancing technique. So their priority is the stability both alignment and the gap. So this is the inverse kinematic alignment, is something like the true gap balancing technique. I cut tibia first, uh, cut the, the posterior condyle and the distal or femur to make a parallel gap. And uh, this is also reasonable. And this is a tibia first technique. And uh, this is a kind of a hybrid technique. And decide the, the tibia independently, then cut the femur independently. Okay. This is another way of functional alignment and hybrid technique. And cut the distal and posterior femur based on the morphology, like caliper kinematic alignment. Cut the distal uh, thigh thickness as uh, a component and uh, in the posterior corner, cut the same thickness as uh, component. Then extend and the flex. And using the computer, decide the tibia cutting surface to make the balance and same gap between extension and flex. So, oh, this is a femur. So there are three kinds of functional alignment or hybrid techniques. Um, the simultaneous before bone cutting or femur pass or tibia pass are three types. Oh, but femur pass and tibia pass is something like a hybrid technique. One side based on morphology or major technique and the other side based on the gap, uh, dependent cut. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, very interesting, but we should uh, clearly understand which approach, this approach is, which is the base, the gap or uh, morphology or femur path or tibia path or simultaneous, 
So it's very beneficial to understand. So, uh, but if you read the paper or the kinematic or functional or personal alignment, you should uh, consider which approach. So uh, basically, it is very very good to make sure femur cut is dependent or major cut for your balancing, independent cut or depend the uh, dependent cut. Uh, what about the tibial cut? Is dependent or uh, independent cut? So maybe it is uh, very worthy for you. And furthermore, for mechanical alignment, is something moved to uh, the, the kinematic or personalized. Mm -hmm. So the classic mechanical alignment is strictly finalized the knee in a straight leg. In other words, zero degrees of HKA and the perpendicular cut. So both femur, distal femur, uh, posterior femur and proximal tibia perpendicular to the axis, mechanical axis. So, or maybe in both case, media side is narrow and the back side is wide. So, that should be corrected by uh, soft tissue release. So, but adjust the mechanical alignment, of course, the tibia cut is perpendicular uh, because they believe perpendicular cut is the most stable, most stable in terms of bone uh, with loading, in the balance of loading on both media and the lateral side. So ne they never cut it varies. But in terms of femur side, they allow plus minus three degrees of balance or balance. <laughs> so Gary, it uh, makes it very easy to adjust the gap once we allow a little bit balance or balance. It's easier. So that can decrease the chance of soft tissue release. Okay. So oh, the other one paper shows that a slight under correction, slight under corrected knee showed the best quicker outcome. Okay. So, oh, this is a uh, new graph. So, in previous pre disease condition, the morphology and soft tissue is uh, correlate and to each other. So, morphology decides soft tissue. Balancing a soft tissue balance uh, besides a forge. So please imagine four bar linkage model. Okay. But so in the osteoarthritis, morphology can change due to both defect or cartridge defect. On the other hand, soft tissue can change due to contracture, looseness, or and ACL deficiency. So after that, morphology and sophistication can separate. If we reconsider the knee based on uh, the morphology, that is the kinematic uh, as a result, result social tissue imbalance can occur and the first soft tissue base is functional like mm -hmm. As a result, morphology can be changed. So, the furthermore, so we should consider restriction of the alignment, and maybe uh, the restriction of the soft tissue imbalance, like three degree, five degree, or a difference of three millimeter or five millimeter. Nobody knows. In terms of alignment, it is uh, also nobody knows the true alignment limit. 
Uh, there is no evidence plus minus three degrees and plus minus five degrees. Only the feeling or only experience is the so boundary of alignment and superficial boundary. I see. So, <laughs> which is the priority morphology or superficial? That's the difference. ということ。分かったら、ファンクショナルと、キネマティクな。しばしば、めっちゃ混同してるかって。人の話聞いてるけど、何を思う気を置いてるかっていうのを聞いたら、この人が何聞いてるかっていうのは分かるんで、この辺
there will be a defect. Mm. Oh, yes, there is a defect. Yes, yes, yes. If, I do, if I don't cut in that much virus. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, then, so firstly, you should cut based on the lateral side. Yes. And even on the media side. Okay. okay. So, and check okay. uh, the gap. Yes. Okay. But uh, in a very extreme case, uh, it is too tight, only on the media side. Yes. So let's study lateralized touch mm -hmm. should be okay. Mm -hmm. Or even loose, or because in most of arthritis patients, uh, the lateral uh, looseness uh, elongation yeah. of the lateral yes. tissue, and the media side is controversial. Mm -hmm. Some also insist that so, uh, no contracture, mm -hmm. but other yes, uh, it can be contracted or uh, uh, shortened. Uh, especially the patient with ACL deficiency. Mm -hmm. Anyway, cut uh, cut the uh, fever independently and cut the tibia you know, up to five degrees. So mm -hmm. using a limitation on the lateral mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the check the gap. Okay. If you can not insert uh, the spacer mm -hmm. for the media side, yes. so what should they do? Mm -hmm. The one solution is increase two degrees. Okay. But, 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 yeah. Yeah. but if you don't want to add no. the more virus, yes. you should uh, limit the virus angle strictly up to five degrees. Yes. You can cut down the part two millimeter lower. Everything. But lateral looseness, you should allow. Okay. You should allow. So priority in the media gap, mm -hmm. or maybe. So most surgeons now, so if the surgeon is mechanical alignment, mm -hmm. so uh, they tend to allow the lateral looseness instead of the media side, media so mm -hmm. tissue release. Mm -hmm. No, uh, what, what my question is. We are solving the pre-arthritic condition mm -hmm. of the bones, yes. Mm -hmm. No? If, if it is a correctable virus case, mm. then it is okay. Mm, okay. If it is a not correctable virus, mm. that is, medial side, there is a soft tissue contracture and it is not allowing us to correct it. It's a fixed virus. Mm, but in my opinion, there is no case. And uh, it's in most of the case, it is uh, yes, only the removal of osteophyte, that's okay. Or uh, remove osteophyte to the media side and at the same time posterior side. So it will open up. Okay. It's okay. It's okay in most cases. But the last solution, I don't want to release the MCL, mm -hmm. but cut the posterior cup side. Vertically. Mm -hmm. Vertically. Mm -hmm. Then the vertical cut makes the space for the media posterior combat mm -hmm. or component. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, I feel, feel tight in the time of trial. I, as I showed yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, interestingly, the final implant, after the final implantation, the patient tend to extend the knee more. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't worry, there's some tightness. Mm -hmm. so, can we downsize even kinematic alignment without mm. soft tissue release? Mm. Uh, can we downsize the tibia base plate? Then do mm. a medial reduction osteotomy. You're not touching the soft tissues. Mm. Never touch the soft. No, tissues. no touching soft tissues. Mm. You want to downsize uh, we, we, release some of the osteophytes. No, oh, after yeah. osteophytes, oh, yeah, yeah. you downsize the tibia instead of three. If if it is a four femur, instead of three. usually mm. three also can go, mm. four also can go. Even two tibia can go. Mm. Two difference in the pivot unit. Mm. So instead of with four femur, you put a three tip, a two tibia. Mm. So you are getting that much extra space. Mm. It is normal bone or mm. a little bit, but you are downsizing the tibia. Mm. Soft tissue is there. You are getting a little bit opening space. Mm. Because in mechanical, we do that. We mm. do a medial reduction osteotomy mm. in case if medial is still no, tight. No, no, no. I think let's reorganize that. How many? choices we can do to create video size spaces. No, in mechanical mm. user, full mm. release, mm. but still it is very mm. soon. We, instead of doing the virus cut, mm. maybe some sizes do virus cut, sometimes we'll do medial reduction mm. of the downsize the tibia, mm. the gap opens up. Because oh, that's that's not, oh, really? Only yeah. the downsizing is yeah. okay, increase the 
uh, the media gap. Yes, many surgeons do that. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Uh, after the smaller uh, component and cut the uh, media border or yes. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. To my opinion, that mm -hmm. if I want to open the space of the video side without taking the video side release, mm -hmm. I think the best way is cut off the osteophyte. So I, I think the yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. downsizing only only the, the osteophyte. Yeah, cut, only the, the, the yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a better choice. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because in Taiwan, we maybe even do more medial side releases mm. to cr just destroy the mm. right rhinos. So, but I don't, I don't think this is a good way. Mm. Yeah. But you it could also yeah, Maybe it is the depend of the insertion of the uh, MCL. Yes. 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 You don't go to. Mm. I, I don't either. want to. Yeah. It, uh, in some cases of MCL insertion, it's just. Uh, same level as the immediate tibia plateau. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe such case has uh some kind of bone defect. There. Probably. Uh, yeah. So you know, normally there is some difference of liver mm -hmm. the insertion of MCL yes. and the immediate tibia plateau. Yes. Oh, there exactly the this is the space for retraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so <laughs> I don't want to release uh, uh the soft tissue, mm -hmm. but I have to protect the soft tissue. So I really detach, not release, only a detach yeah. and make a space for retractor. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be the three or four millimeter. Yeah, the three or four just slide it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Three or four meters. So basically, uh, the insertion or media soft tissue insertion should be uh, at least a three or four millimeter below the below media the... edge of the tibia plateau, mm -hmm. or media tibia plateau. So that can be the space for the cut. We have three or four. Oh, if there are people, mm. medial tibial reduction osteotomy, mm. excellent outcomes improve mm. on the line. Mm. So you're not touching the MCL attachments down, mm. but uh, you can't I know, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe it's okay. It's Please. okay. Oh, in I, I once I did the mechanical alignment, okay. sometimes I do this, mm -hmm. and as a result, oh, tibia placement a little bit larger. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a reason. Yeah. But interestingly, if you move to the kinematic alignment, very, very rare. In such cases. Mm. So maybe uh, after move to the kinematic alignment, you uh maybe you you want to recut the tibia instead of release mm -hmm. and cut the osteophyte, but uh cut the two millimeter, uh two degree the more bar. Mm. So sure. interesting. So uh, I there, there is virtually no concern about the soft tissue problem uh, with the kinematic, kinematic alignment, and as I showed 